everyone, welcome to XMVR, my name is Christian. Today, I thought I'd do something a little different to my normal video routine. I wanted to go back, uh, look at some retro games, which... Fantastic games, which you can pick up now really, really cheap. Obviously, the way I have done it is I am going through the Sega Genesis Classics, which you can get through Steam. I mean, to buy the program is probably about the same, probably cheaper in fact, than, yeah, oh yeah, far cheaper than buying the Sega Mini, which you can is like a plug and play console. I mean, if you want one of them, fantastic, go for it. Uh, but for me, considering I use my PC more than anything, I thought this would be better for me. Uh, and the individual games that you can buy through Steam, they cost you about 70... 75 or 79 pence per game so I think for me when I bought the entire library it cost me about including the uh, sorry my phone lit up there. so to buy the emulator and every single game that is available on Steam cost me just over 30 30 pound so that's a lot of games that you get in I mean you can see on the shelves just to the right on the right of the screen there that's quite a few titles there for about 30 quid. And while all of them might not be to your taste, you can pick and choose. You don't have to buy the full full lot. You can just pick, like, two. You know, I mean, obviously the more games you buy, the better value that emulator is. But I went for the full lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way through all of these games. Now, some of these I did actually play. I did have... The uh, well, for me, it, it yeah, it wasn't the Sega Genesis. It was the Sega Mega Drive or Sega Mega Drive Two. I can't remember which one. It, it's all a bit hazy and grey for me. The early nineties. I was very very young. Yeah, I mean, I might just work my way through alf alphabetically, or I'll just pick and choose which ones I think would be good. But I, uh, what I'm going to do is play each one and just do like short little videos. Because I will undoubtedly suck at these games. So let's get started. Alex Kidd. This is not one of the games I played as a child. Ooh. Oh my god, this is unbelievably happy. Rookie Town. Two lives. Okay. Okay. Punch. Jump. I just automatically do a flying kick. Ah! No, I died. Like I told you, I'm going to suck at these games. This is a real trip. Oh! You can kill the cars! Oh my god. And the strange thing is, like, a lot of indie games now have kind of gone back to this style. I think possibly because, you know, with some some indie developers, maybe their, their forte is not graphic development. They're more just, uh, uh, what, just, what happened? Yeah, but maybe that more focused on creating a, a great story. Hello. Why do I get the feeling that thing is going to kill me? That is a dung beetle. I was killed by poo. Ah! Ah, what the... I didn't touch him! I... Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, have I just wasted my weapon? 
I have, haven't I? You can step on the bones! Ah! 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 Yeah, it's just a pain. Where was my bike? I didn't get a bike. The level, Look how easy the level would have been if they'd given me a bike. What the actual hell? So that's it for this episode. Annex Kid down. Next, we're going to be moving on to... Look, tell you what, let's have a quick preview. Let's exit out of this. Oh, and you can even play it like this. You can just play... Um, just play the game like that, I think. Yeah, so you can just be looking at an old CRT monitor. You can get a... Did... There's a pogo stick as well! It's just the game on easy mode, isn't it? Out of that, let's have a look at what's next. Alien Soldier. Don't remember that one. But the one, the two after that, actually, Alien Storm and Altered Beast, I did actually have. I owned both of those games, and I played them a lot. Um, also, if you have a friend who has the Sega Gen like the Sega Genesis collection, there is multiplayer. There's online multiplayer. Although, potentially, I think you might be able to share the game with a friend. So, someone on your Steam friends list, I think you can invite them to play with you. But I'm not entirely sure how that works. I might try and work it out with one of the other XMVR guys. And we'll have a bit of a, a two-player session. Because Alien Storm is a two-player game. I mean, a lot of these games will be two-player games. But not, not necessarily... They, they play just as well on your own as they do with a friend. Alien... Oh, excuse me. Alien Storm, however, I know for a fact, plays brilliantly with two people. So I might try and get one of the other guys interested in doing that one with me. But anyway, next episode, Alien Soldier. You'll have to come back and check that one out. Thank you very much for watching. Please do, if you like the video, leave a like. If you want to see more from us, hit that subscribe button. And also, if you want to keep up to date with all of our releases, hit that little bell notification button. And you'll be notified the moment we release a new video. Anyway, have fun, stay safe. Bye.